Good morning students. Today we are going to learn on metallic bond. Okay, what is metallic bond? Metallic bond as you can see at the highlighted one is an electrostatic attraction force between the sea of electrons and the positively charged metal ions form the metallic bond. And for information, this metallic bond only occurs during the solid state of the metal. Now let's see closer about it. Okay, this is an example of the crystal lattice structure of the metals. Huh? Now, as what you can see in this structure, the metal atoms are held together closely in their fixed position, right? Okay, as an example metal, let's look at aluminium. Now, what you can see in this diagram is the electron arrangement diagram for aluminium atoms. Huh? So as you can see on the subatomic structure of aluminium, aluminium have 13 protons. So thus the electron arrangement will be 2, 8, 3. Now, as you can see at this structure, you only can see the two shells, right? So where's the third shell? The third shell is the shell which contains the valence electron. The three valence electron of aluminium atom it will call delocalized that means they are freely moving around the atoms as can you see the blue color one uh, this is called delocalized electrons okay so just now i told you about the delocalized electron right Ele delocalized electron means the valence electrons which are free to move they are very mobile and it doesn't own by any specific atoms and it moves in between the atoms. Huh? Okay, as you can see this. Okay, this is the delocalized electrons. So these delocalized electrons forms a sea of electrons. We call this as sea of electrons. Okay, as you see closely. These atoms will be positively charged. That means it forms the cation of the metal ion due to losing of its valence electrons in the formation of delocalized electrons, which forms the C electrons. Now, when the metal atoms become positively charged, and we know that this valence electron are freely moving throughout the spaces between the atoms, right? And this will form the negative charge around this metal ions which are positively charged so due to this positive charge in the atom and the negative charge formed by the sea of electrons it will create a kind of electrostatic force of attraction and this is what hold the metals together form the metallic bond here i show you the animation for the metallic bond eh? the electrons that are moving can you see it okay that is called delocalized electrons and this delocalized electrons will be negatively charged whereas the metal atoms become positively charged which is the cations so the force of attraction between the cations and the delocalized electrons forms an electrostatic force of attraction and this attraction will form the metallic bond okay as you can see closely here the positively charged cation of this aluminium will be attracted to the negatively charged delocalized electrons which are forming the C electrons. So the positive and the negative charge they have the attraction which is called as electrostatic force of attraction. Now how from this how the metal bond is formed? Okay when due to the occurrence of this electrostatic forces of attraction between this cation to the sea of electrons hence it make the atoms to stay at the place and when they held together at their fixed position is actually is held by another bond which is called metallic bond and this metallic bond is the one holding the atoms at the place that means we are calling it as a fixed Position. Okay, now it seems you already understand on metallic bond. Now let's look on electrical conductivity of metals. Now what will happen when the metal is connected to a circuit? We know that metal is a conductor of electricity, right? Okay, how it happens? The metal ions which are free to move, they are mobile. 
so they will move to the positive terminal of the battery and the movement of this electron will carry the charges and creates the electricity.